Hi guys, so in this quick session, we are going to see how to integrate GitLab with the VS Code. So we are going to set up the GitLab account in the VS Code to perform the push and pull operations from the VS Code. So just follow these simple steps. So first we are going to sign up on the GitLab and we will log in into the GitLab. Okay, so then we will need to create the SSH key pair for push and pull operations. So once SSH key is done, then we are going to add the GitLab extension in the VS Code. So using that extension, we are going to add the GitLab account in the VS Code. And once GitLab account is created and added in the VS Code, we can clone any GitLab repository. Okay, and you can push your changes, your local changes to the GitLab repo as well. So for the sign up, just go to the official GitLab website and click on register now. So just fill this information and create the GitLab account. So once you login into the GitLab, second step is to create the public and private SSH key pair. So to create the SSH key, just open the git bash on your local machine and type ssh-keygen. Press enter, press enter, press enter again. So normally this key will be created on your local machine in the .ssh folder in the user's account. So open the public key in the notepad plus plus or any other editor and copy that key content. Go back to the GitLab, click on your profile, then go to the preferences. Then click on SSH keys. So here we need to add our public key content. So click on add new key, paste the public key and scroll down. You can set any expiration date as per your requirement. So that key will be valid up to that period only. So I will click on add key. So as we have set up the SSH key in the GitLab, we can easily perform the push and pull operation from the local machine. So next step is to add the GitLab extension in the VS Code. So open the VS Code and go to the extension window. Here just search the GitLab workflow. So this is the extension we need to install. So with the help of this GitLab VS Code extension, we will be able to integrate our GitLab in the VS Code. Click on install. Once the extension is installed successfully in the VS Code, you can see this GitLab logo on the left hand side. Now we need to add the GitLab account in the VS Code with the help of GitLab workflow extension. So click on GitLab workflow. So there are two ways by which we can set up the GitLab account in the VS Code. So this is the one way connect gitlab.com with the OAuth. Okay. And another way is by clicking on this add account button. So first let's see how we can uh, connect to the gitlab.com with the OAuth. So click on that button. Click on allow. Then click on open. Click on authorize. Click on open VS Code Studio. Allow this extension to open this URI. Click on open. So once account is added, you can see the message here that account gitlab.com age automation has been added to the VS Code. So now we can clone any GitLab repository available in my GitLab account. So click on open source control. So here you will get options open folder or clone repository. Click on clone repository. So you can clone any repository from the GitHub by providing the URL of the repository or you can clone from the GitLab. So just we have created the account. So you will be able to see all the GitLab repository available on my account in the VS Code. Okay, so all these repository I have already created on my GitLab account. So let's try to clone this multiple form. So you can select anyone from this git SSH URL or HTTPS URL. So on the local machine you need to select the folder in which you need to save all the code from that repository. So let's say I am going to save that in the GitLab demo folder. So it is going to clone the git repository here. So once it is done, directly you can open that clone repository. So click on open. So now you can see the project from the GitLab in the VS Code now. So now as we have added the GitLab account in the VS Code, you can uh, do any changes in the code and you can commit and push those changes in the GitLab repository. So using the command palette option in the VS Code, you can perform any GitLab operations. So just go to the view and you can click on command palette. 
or you can use this shortcut control shift p to open the command palette so to perform any gitlab operation just type gitlab so here you will get the list of operation you can perform with the help of gitlab so i am going to uh, remove the gitlab account we just created okay we just added in the vs code so that we can see the second way so here i will go to the say colon remove remove account from the vs code so i will close this folder so again go to the gitlab so again we are going to add our gitlab account using this second option so click on add account so here we need to add the token from the gitlab into the vs code so go back to the gitlab so under the user setting go to the access tokens so we need to add the personal access token into the vs code so first click on add new token so here i will provide some name token for say vs code select the expiration date from this calendar so from the scope i can select api and read api as of now as per your requirement you can select any other permission levels click on create personal access token so copy this personal access token go back to the vs code hit enter here paste your gitlab personal access token hit enter so once account is added you can see this message added the gitlab account for the user age automation on the https gitlab.com okay so this is the second way by which we can add the gitlab account into the vs code so again we can uh, clone any repository from the gitlab select any repository you want to clone and select the url And VS Code now clone that Git repository. Okay, so I can directly open that project by clicking on the open or I can click on this open folder. Then go to the folder destination and select the folder. So what are projects available in that folder on the local machine will be opened in the VS Code now. So now I can make any changes into the code on my local machine and I can push those changes to that GitLab repository. Let's say I'm going to add one comment over here. Changes from the VS code. Save that file. So click on source control. So I want to commit uh, code changes from this project to my GitLab repository. So here I need to provide the commit message. Click on these more actions and click on commit and push so select test that i want to stage all these files first on my local git repository so from this staging area from the local git all those files will be committed and pushed to our remote gitlab repository okay so let's verify those changes so go back to the gitlab and open the project refresh the page so you can see this commit changes from the vs code so we have got our changes done from our uh, VS code on the local machine to our GitLab repository now. So using the command palette as well, you can clone any GitLab repository. So just type again GitLab, click on open remote repository. So let's open in a new window. So as we have already added the GitLab account, I can select a project to clone. So select any repository. Then it will ask you to select the branch. There I have only master branch. I will click on master. So let's say this is my folder name. Press enter. So that project will be open in the new window in the VS code now. So with the help of command palette also you can open any project from the GitLab into the VS code. So this is how we can integrate the GitLab with the VS code.